Hello brothers and sisters. We welcome you all back to the Sons of God channel. We have a message from Enoch which we would like to share with everyone. Likewise, there is a compiled list of answers to people's question about the warning. The video was uploaded some time ago, but we know, not many was able to see the video. But at the end of today's message we will be displaying the video for everyone to view. Meanwhile, the message for today was given by Jesus our Lord to Sir Enoch, and the message was given on the 14th of April, 2015. This message of today, explains to us how the time will be shortened from 24 hours to 12 hours, and why it has to happen this way. Before we go into the message let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the heart of the faithful, enkindle in them the fire of divine love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament says, My children, peace to you. The days of the Great Tribulation draw near. Prepare yourselves spiritually, psychologically and materially that you may be able to bear those days of anguish. Do not lose your head, in every moment pray and ask for the help from heaven so that it may be more bearable for you. I announce to you that the days will be shortened more, do not fear, if the days were not shortened you would not be able to bear the purification. It is good, my children, that you start even now accustoming yourselves to a new regimen of life. Go to bed earlier so that you can get sufficient rest, for the night hours will be quite short. A cosmic phenomenon that will shift the axis of the Earth is about to arrive, and it will accelerate its rotation more, which will shorten your time so that the days will reach the limit of a duration of 12 hours. This is the time indicated by heaven for the beginning of the days of the Great Tribulation. Do not panic, remember that all is according to the divine will all in the universe will go into disorder so as to be readjusted. Only so, can the new creation surge into existence. The universe is at the point of entering into commotion, you will be witnesses of many cosmic phenomena, my children. Phenomena never before seen by humanity, from the sky fire will fall to earth as has never before been seen, and many nations will vanish on account of their malice and sin. All creatures and creation will be in tribulation, by the divine will of my Father. All has its time under the sun and the time of the great tribulation is about to arrive. Again I say to you, do not fear, if you remain in me, as the branch remains in the vine, not a hair on your heads will be lost, but if you are separated from me, you will be lost. I am the vine of eternal life, the living water, which will purify you so that you can live eternally. Remain in me, and all that is about to come will pass by you as a dream. Pay attention to the instructions my mother gives you, remember that she will be the tabernacle wherein I shall remain in those days. Seek for my mother, and you will find me and find peace and consolation in those days of anguish. Do not let loose of your rosary, because it will be the compass that will guide you to the doors of my new creation. My peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Repent and be converted, for the kingdom of God is near. 
You Jesus of mercy, make my messages known to all humanity. Brothers and sisters, that was the end of the message from our Lord Jesus Christ. Please we encourage you all to share this message to everyone on your contact list. As seen in today's message, our Lord Jesus spoke expressly about the shortage of time, this information was already documented in the Gospels, he only elaborated more about how this cosmic event will occur. And also, he gave us signs so we can know when this event has occurred. As we all know, we are living in the pre-tribulation of the last days, and therefore, once we see this sign happen in the cosmic region we must know that the great tribulation which was spoken in the book of Apocalypse has begun. We hope to bring this information in a more elaborative way, as we continue to receive more heavenly messages. Little by little, every piece which explains the timing of apocalyptic events will be put together, all to serve as information for the faithful, so that they can prepare with more intensity and also prepare their families. Let us now go into the message about the warning. Message from the Book of Truth What is the great warning? On this video, we are going to be sharing with all viewers 26 points from heaven about the warning that we must remember. The warning is a form of global confession. It will be the time when everyone will be expected to ask for the forgiveness of their sins or face rejection. Many will witness what will be seen to be a catastrophic occurrence when two comets will appear to collide and explode close to the Earth's surface. The warning for many will be a frightening event when it will seem like the world has come to an end. The two stars will collide and many will be fearful. There is nothing to fear because this is the greatest gift I bring so that not one soul is lost to the fires of hell. Then my cross will appear in the skies and not one person will fail to notice. Many will fall down in fear and a great shaking like an earthquake will be felt. Then will come the silence. The skies will be peeled back as if a roof has opened to reveal the fires and the flames of my divine mercy. The earth will be shaken with such force that no man will escape my eyes, my spirit or my gift. Many will tremble with fear because it will only be then that many will become aware of their souls for the very first time. The warning is a miracle permitted by my father to ensure that as many of his children as possible can enter my new kingdom. Every single one of my children will be shown their lives, their sins, their wrongdoings, and every single insult they were responsible for against their brothers and sisters all during a mystical experience. Not one man, woman or child on this earth will be excluded. It is important to understand that the warning is just that. I come to warn God's children that their sins can and will be forgiven. I come to show them what the day of judgment will be like. This will mean that those who ask for redemption at this stage will be saved. You will see your sins and understand immediately how they appear to me. Instantly, you will understand clearly how offensive they are and wrong. This is your chance, children, to repent. This is not judgment day, but a taste of what it will be like. You will stand before me alone with no one next to you. I will show you your soul. You will see every stain upon it. You will relive the sin and then I will give you the time to ask me to show you my mercy. Not because you're entitled to my mercy, but only because I decide to give you this gift. The warning will be a purifying experience for all of you. It may be unpleasant in part, especially for those in grave sin because for the first time ever, you will be shown what it feels like when the light of God disappears from your life. 
your souls will feel the abandonment felt by those who die in mortal sin. These poor souls who left it too late to ask God to forgive them their sins. Remember, it is important that I allow all of you to feel this emptiness of soul. For only then will you finally understand that without the light of God in your souls, you cease to feel. This great warning is the manifestation of my divine mercy given to Sister Faustina. This is how the final day of judgment will unfold. Only this time you will not be condemned. I smile with joy and happiness when I think of the moment when this great gift of my mercy is revealed to my children. It is a homecoming, the likes of which cannot be described. For this will be when your hearts will be filled with my divine love. Your souls will be enlightened, finally in preparation for the new paradise on earth. Rejoice when the sky explodes, for you will know that I am truly coming into the world. At last mankind will not be able to deny me. My love will radiate in every corner of the world as I try to draw in all souls everywhere. They will know exactly what will happen on the day of judgment and they will know how to save their souls because my love will have enveloped them. This cleansing will waken up my children and many more will accept the graces with gratitude when they are poured out over humanity during the warning. During the warning, all those who have redeemed themselves in my eyes will not suffer the pain of purgatory. Either way, the fires of the purification and suffering will be felt by all sinners. The length of time will depend on the gravity of their sins. I will show mercy to everyone who accepts the black state of their souls when they are shown their sins during the warning. Without this miracle, billions of souls would go to hell. Although the Holy Spirit will be poured out over the whole world during the warning, every effort will be made by Satan to stop this global confession. So then I must remind you that you must prepare for this event, for it will cause tremendous pain and suffering for many. It will be as if many have plunged into the lowest level of purgatory, which purges the soul with a powerful heat and creates a terrible sense of remorse, which causes pain of the flesh. Many souls will rejoice. However, even those souls who are close to me will also feel anguish when they have to face their wrongdoings before me. The shame they will feel though will be quickly forgotten as the light of my mercy will devour them and fill them with graces. The souls who do not know me at all will be mesmerized and many will believe that they have died and are being judged by me on the last day. They too will rejoice when the truth is revealed to them. Then those poor wretched souls who relish their sinful lives will suffer greatly. Some will break down and lie at my feet and protect their eyes from my light because the pain of standing before me alone and defenseless will be too much for them to bear. They will not ask for my mercy, for their hatred of me runs deep. Finally, the souls who have completely renounced me and given themselves over in body and soul to the evil one will suffer a greater torment, as if they have crawled into the depths of hell. Many will not be able to withstand my presence and they will fall stone dead before me. Others will try to call out to me, but they will be dragged away from me by the evil one. By the miracle of the illumination of conscience, he, my son, will bring joy, love and hope to the world. Open your hearts and let me guide you to my paradise on earth where you will enjoy eternal life. The warning will purify God's children in preparation for my second coming. The warning will herald the preparation for my second coming.